These people make me sick. Just for Kaiju Big Battle here at Boston Anime, and I am here outside the Kaiju panel. We're just moments away from the big news and inconvenient danger. All these people here, this line goes all the way around. It goes around the corner, down the escalator, and they are all here for one reason and one reason only, and that is Kaiju Big Battle. We will be getting started in just one book. Go get the butt, get out of here. We're almost ready to go inside. They're just kicking everybody out. Are you excited? Yeah. See, everybody's really excited. All right, I'm gonna get ready. Be careful, Boston anime. Danger can. Ladies and gentlemen of Boston, Massachusetts, I want you to go through an exercise with me before we start. If everyone could just please close their eyes for one moment. I want you to take this opportunity to imagine a world of peace. Imagine a world of friendship, a place where, a place where people can achieve their goals without the danger of harm. Okay? Yeah. Right. Now open your eyes! Open them! Because that place does not exist! <laughs> <laughs> we don't live in that world! Okay? We live in this world! Monster creation is ruining this planet. Cities are being destroyed. Tokyo, Paris, London, New York City, they've all been destroyed. <laughs> what is a human being to do in this instance? You have to say no to the cube agenda. <laughs> and you have to stop the creation of monsters. And you have to support the kaiju heroes and everything that the kaiju commissioner tells you because it's all true. Beam is going to be coming into the audience with a microphone. I feel like I want Sally Jesse Raphael. I love it. She has red glasses and I have black, and I thought maybe me and her could. Yeah, okay, Beam. Okay, who has a question? Is Dr. Cube responsible for the atrocities that happened with um, Gumby when he fought the uh, blockhead? I've been to many conventions, had to answer many, many questions from many stupid humanoids. Thank you. But you, coming right off the bat, with the dumbest question I have ever heard. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend, Dr. Cube? No comment. <laughs> there was a rumor that uh, you and uh, Dr. Doom were a little, uh, you know, getting freaky in his castle there. Shut up. I don't get it, but it's funny. Is there any truth to the rumor that you, evil Emperor Zerg, the Shredder, and um, Dr. Claw are gonna put out that that uh, rap album. Hey, I, I can put out a rap album. Say, excuse me, what's going on? I'm a bust of raps, I'm a bust of raps, I'm a bust of raps, then I got on a cap. I'm a bust of raps, I'm a bust of raps, I'm a bust of raps, then I got a cap. cap. All the people in the room now, clap a hands down, get a dance out, wanna shower, wanna shower, I use soap. Okay. If you could name a few people that inspired you. Okay, okay, I got that, I got that. Uh, look here, uh, since uh, way back in the day, it was Rocky Marciano. Uh, yeah, because I watched a few movies and I, I, I like Rocky a lot. Mm -hmm, that was a good one. And uh, uh, The Rock, very, very good inspirational people in my life. What, what about Mount Rushmore? Anyway. Rush you. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, B. Yeah, give him some tentacles. I 
other tentacles. Do you have anything to say about the negative portrayal of other tentacle creatures, especially in anime style movies? Yes, I will, actually, I took a stance on that. Uh, I, I believe that it's unnecessary in, in most movies, the unnecessary, unnecessary, unnecessary degradation of tentacles. We need to respect them. Tentacle bones are people too. Keep hope alive. Go ahead and hear things of that nature. And what is the strongest looking creature maneuver in Kaiju? And can you beat it? Your strongest looking finisher maneuver in Kaiju is by far the bunny shot from Gusto. Oh, that's just that's the yeah. main light. You cannot beat it. Of course I can beat it. I'm Steve Pop Tentacle Boulder. What are you, crazy? I'm amazing. Mr. Boulder, who are you looking forward to getting in the ring with the most? None other than Dr. Q himself. That's right, I said it. Oh. Oh. Did you